are you a business coach? My imagination tells me that if you're in any form or fashion of business and or out in your community, you are actually a coach. You may be a leader, you may have some title uh, that you hold in an organization, but at the end of the day, you really are a business coach. You are a community coach. You are somebody in a position of influence uh, over other individuals, helping them shape their character, helping them shape their skills, so they can be productive in the workplace or in the community. And so I want to give you a tool. And the tool is uh, really a principle. And the principle is that everybody has a choice when they enter into a coaching relationship or a business relationship, a community relationship, any type of relationship. You uh, give somebody the opportunity to learn from your experiences, but they have to choose to do so. You give somebody the opportunity to learn skills, but they have to choose to learn those skills. And so knowing that everybody has a choice, it really is incumbent upon you, number one, as a leader to acknowledge that, that this person that you are coaching or trying to influence has the ability to choose whether or not you're the one that can influence them and or coach them. Even if you have a title in an organization that puts you in a hierarchy over this person, they still have the ability to choose to learn from you. The second thing is, once you foster that ability to choose, in other words, you acknowledge you put it out there in the world and you give that person the opportunity to engage and they choose, to get into that relationship, it really does deepen the sense of loyalty and trust that they have toward you. And you have to take that responsibility seriously. It's a privilege to lead somebody. It's a privilege to influence somebody. It's a privilege to coach somebody and you have to take it seriously. They are looking more at your actions than they are at the th listening to the things that come out of your mouth. These things are important that come out of your mouth. The teaching, the training, the mentoring, that kind of thing is important. But what they're really looking at, what they're really making observation of is your behavior. Are you disciplined? Are you of good character? Um, do you make good business decisions that are predicated on good, uh, good true north value system? And then the third thing that I would say about this is that it becomes a platform for a more stabilized or sustainable relationship over a long bit of time uh, when you know that they choose to be in this relationship with you or they choose to be influenced by you it endures over a very long bit of time and that that to me is where the real challenge comes in leading someone or mentoring someone or coaching someone is that they're making observation these little things are going into their mind these little data points in their observations the way you behave in all different types of circumstances whether it be in a in a restaurant in a hotel in a conference uh, out in the pub out at a pub during happy hour uh, everything goes in here uh, into that sort of mentee's mind when they're making the decision to choose to work with you or choose to be led by you or influenced by you. So take that seriously. Um, so all that being said, the principle here is just know that people have a choice. Take that principle seriously and act and behave in a way that is of value to that individual in terms of their professional and or community growth. Take care. We'll talk to you again soon.